Hey everyone, this is Jamie Leha, and today I am sharing a process video for a traveler's notebook spread that I put together. This is going into my one little word notebook. Um, it's something that I'm doing in conjunction with following the monthly prompts in the one little word journal. So I pulled a variety of items together to put this page together. It is a page about the new brand that I've launched. If you're watching this, you're aware that there is now something called Miscellaneous Paper. Um, it's where I am posting. It's, it's the name I'm posting on Instagram under, on YouTube. I also have a website at miscpaper.co.co. So I'm working directly in the Traveler's Notebook um, that I purchased from Allie Edwards' site last year. It's just a gridded paper notebook, has a craft cover, and one little word is embossed on the front. And there's a number of pages in there, and one of the things I like to do just to help um, add some stability to the layout and then also make sure that the, the actual notebook itself isn't too crowded is glue the pages, or adhere the pages back to back so that you have I guess half the number of pages that you would normally intend to have. Um, that just helps these, it, it's something that I've discovered helps me to make sure that these don't get too overloaded um, with stuff because then they can start getting um, really kind of rough. And because there's no page protector, you know, they can get kind of bends in them and and all that stuff and that's fine with me um, but this is just one of the ways that I try to kind of minimize that so I used a printable that I have available on my website misspaper.co it's under the new blog post that I um, initially started the blog with and I used the 3 by 4 card that just had um, some lines on the bottom and just um, manipulated it in Photoshop so that I would have a more interesting pattern that could be added to the bottom of this Traveler's Notebook layout. I also edited my photos in Photoshop using a template from In a Creative Bubble. She had some, um, I guess these are like photo strips with black outline that I thought were really great and a convenient way to add multiple photos onto this smaller canvas that you have in the Traveler's Notebook. Um, I added just a variety of images from my Instagram account and from the website, just something that, um, just a few things that I'm really excited about regarding this paper, um, as work is my one little word for the year, and this was a big launch for me, um, wanting to start a small side hustle, which at the moment doesn't sell anything, but perhaps one day will, but really just launching and kind of doing it before I'm ready, even. Um, I just, I've been having a lot of fun with it, and so I really wanted to scrap up about it. Um, I pulled the printable, and then also, since some of my photos featured a really great, pretty purple, um, I went to my embellishment box um, of purple items and pulled out a few things that I thought would coordinate. So the details die cut is from Ellie's Studio, and also these acetate, um, uh, shape so this big asterisk is from Ali Studio as well. I really just love that pop of purple with the colors from the Miss Paper logo. Um, I think it looks really cute together. Um, I pulled two stamp sets that I wanted to work with and I am just adding some stamping to the background to add more visual interest um, and um, additional color in the white grid part of the layout. Um, the ink that I'm using is from Pink Fresh. It's called Slumber, and I really love that kind of fairy wimple color. It's one of the colors that's in the um, the logo. It's one of my favorite colors as well, so um, I definitely wanted to incorporate it. And um, the stamp set, I believe, is from the Stamp Market. Now, this is a really old stamp set from the Stamp Market, but um, it, I think it was more uh, intended for planning, but I think the sentiment, I can do this, is really appropriate for what I am scrapbooking about. And um, I wanted to differentiate, um, I guess I wanted to ground more the, um, the bottom pattern paper with the top grid, you know, simple grid, um, add just a little bit more visual interest and kind of join them together, I put some washi down um, to make that transition a little more, I guess, grounded is a word that I would use. 
Um, just something to the where it didn't look like it was just kind of plopped on the page. Um, I think adding washi at seams can really help with that. Um, I'm playing around just trying to figure out what other things I can do to this fairly simple page and what embellishing I can do. I've added already a felt um, heart from Whimsy Fox Crafts and I'll, I'll shortly add another heart. I'm also adding some additional stamping just for more interest up in that kind of white space area. And I'd like to introduce you to my adorable cat, Islington. Um, he is my little buddy. He follows me around the house and he sometimes hangs out with me in my craft room. Usually he wants to lay directly on top of whatever it is that I'm working on. And so I lucked out this time that he decided to lay next to the notebook that I was working on. And um, I just kind of worked around him. It's actually, if he laid like this every time he came to lay it on my scrapbook um, table, if you may have just heard him meow in the background, then um, I would get a lot more done. And I just finished the page by adding that last felt heart. And off camera, I add some journaling. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it.